Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I have possibly just found the best chatbot clone for ChatGPT. Introducing LibreChat. It's a communicative chatbot platform that augments the capabilities of ChatGPT with features as well as enhancements that are not found on any other chatbot application. It's awesome because it brings together and integrates various different types of AI plugins, models, large language models, and applications into its own platform. This is quite awesome as it makes it easier for you to use all the models that you want in one single place. You can say it's an all-in-one platform in a way. Now, the great part is, is that it's completely free and it's open source, which allows you to extend further upon its base platform and framework. With LibreChat, you no longer need to opt for ChatGPT's Plus plan and can instead use free or paper calls that you can access with its API list. Now, this is something that we're going to explore throughout today's video as we uncover the capabilities of LibreChat, showcase how we can install it, and so much more as we go throughout the capabilities, features, roadmap of this new platform. So stay tuned, and with that thought, let's get straight into the video. So what is LibreChat? Well, it's an innovative chatbot platform that combines the capabilities of assistant AIs, particularly leveraging the revolutionary technology of OpenAI's ChatGPT model. Now, there's many different things that you can do with LibreChat as it's an all-in-one AI conversations platform. Now, it stands out by offering and being integrated with various different types of things such as having the integration of LangChain, plugins, various different types of AI models, as well as large language models. It brings forward everything into an all-in-one platform. Now, let's just take a look at some of these amazing features, which we can see over here. You have an UI that matches ChatGPT, and this is something that we saw at the demo video at the start. It matches features with its dark mode that we see in ChatGPT, as well as trying to replicate some of the plugin features that we see within the ChatGPT Plus plan. It has a multi-modal chat, which allows you to upload and analyze images with GPT-4 Vision. And this is something that expands conversations beyond just to text. It's something that is in active development and it's something for more like file types as well as integration with assistant APIs. You have the multilingual support, which allows you to connect with various other types of languages, such as English. You have Spanish, French, Italian, and so much more. You have various different types of AI models that you can basically implement, as well as other types of large language models. In this case, they have the integration of OpenAI's API, Azure, Bing AI, you have ChatGPT, Browser, Palm 2, you have Anthropic, and you have various other plugins that you can integrate. You have custom presets, which lets you create, save, and share custom presets for personalized experiences. You're able to have conversation control, which lets you edit, resubmit, and continue messages with conversation branches. It's something that allows for more of a dynamic and interactive conversation use case, as well as a flow. You're able to have the export feature that we see with ChatGPT. Uh, you have a search functionality, plugin integration, which is something that I really like as it lets you include web access. This is something that we haven't seen with ChatGPT, obviously because of its information control to a certain date. In this case, you're allowed, you allow the models to have free use as well as free access to the web, which gives you information on an updated basis rather than ChatGPT's like, cutoff date. Now you also have the multi-user support with security, which basically is a functionality and secure authentication method that lets you have 100% privacy within this application. Lastly, you have the configuration option, and this is something that configures proxies, reverse proxy, Docker, and various other deployment options to suit different needs. Now these are a lot of different features that they've just released in terms of its recent update. They have many other things that they're continuously working on, which is the roadmap. And this is something that we'll mention later on in the video. Now, obviously this is open source. This is something that we mentioned before at the start of this video, and it's completely free for you to use. It reduces the need to pay 
for other types of features with ChatGPT's Plus Plan. And it lets you have the integration with different types of plugins, which is my favorite part about this model. It puts everything in an all-in-one platform, and it's something that we're going to take a look at in the next step of the video where we showcase how we can actually install it and how we can actually start playing around with it. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Now there's various different installation methods. You can definitely use Docker Compose to install this, Linux, Mac, and Windows. In this case, we're gonna showcase the Windows installation method, which is fairly easy. You first start off by cloning this repository, and this is something that we're gonna do in the next step of this video. But before we get to this step, I wanna showcase that you're also able to have it deployed on the cloud there's various other types of methods as to how you can do this and they have a good step-by-step -step demonstration as to how you can do this it's something that is powered by digital ocean and they have a step-by-step -step guide as to how you can set this up so if you're interested in having this hosted on the cloud you can definitely do so with the following steps which i'll leave a link to in the description below on their documentation, which also features various different types of configuration tutorials, as well as different tutorials to integrate different APIs. So definitely check that out in the link in the description below. But for the case of this video, let's get to the next tip where we start off by installing LibreChat on Windows. Now, what you wanna do is first copy this link, which is the git clone link of this repository. Now, what you wanna do is open up command prompt so once you have this open up, you can simply then just type in the command over here by pasting it and clicking enter. This will start cloning everything. So now once this is done, you can then simply just type in CD Libre chat to go into the file and then paste this command MPMCI. This will start setting up the front end. Then we need to copy this command where you need to run the front end. So once this is done, we can then move forward with that command. So once that is done, you can simply just paste this npm run front end and then press enter. This will start the front end up. So once this is complete, you can then move forward by copying this next command, which is run the npm run back end. Now, what you will then do is have this com complete setting up the front end and then we can paste this in afterwards. Now you can paste in the next command. Once that's finished setting up the front end, click enter and this will start sending the back end up. Now what you will then need to do is then go into your local host. It's fairly easy. You just simply just click on this and you're going to be able to start chatting with it once it finish sets setting up like the back end. One thing I want to mention is the plugin endpoints in LibreChat. This is something that allows you to prompt language models in a new ways beyond the usual input or output method that you actually give it. You can start off by using the chain of thought prompting and agency to employ different types of plugins or tools similar to the official ChatGPT plugin feature list. This is something that's unique, which is something that is revolving around the endpoints where you can adjust your conversation settings while chatting along within LibreChat. Now, we've seen this with other types of platforms, but something like ChatGPT, for example, you're not able to switch different types of presets and settings in the middle of a conversation, even without selecting a plugin. This flexibility is something that you can only see with LibreChat and it's handy when you're wanting to get a more creative response from ChatGPT first and then a more cost-effective type of response from GPT-3, for example. You can just simply switch into these different types of models mid-conversation. Now, you're also going to be able to use Palm 2 and Hugging Face models in the same modular way within this endpoint. And this is something that they stated, and it's something that's going to be a part of their roadmap. They're trying to get more plugins and advanced plugin usage, which is something that they're trying to integrate within LibreChat. You have ChatGPT plugins and open API specs. That is something that they've already accomplished within their roadmap. They're trying to also integrate different types of open source LMs as well as LMs to choose from both for both thinking and completion phases. Alternative prompting methods such as three of, thought, three of thoughts is something that they're trying to implement as well. 
something that they will accomplish eventually as this is something that is backed by a good team and it's something that is has been in development for quite a long time now. Like I mentioned previously, they have a documentation on various other types of tutorials on the things that you can do with the plugins, different types of AI models, as well as integrating other types of applications within Libre Chat. If you're interested in any of that, definitely read through this. But we can see with the usage of plugins, there is more flexibility as it gives you more specific flexibility with settings. And this is something that we haven't seen with other models. They have the ability to set up different types of plugins with Google Search, Stable Diffusion, Wolfram, you have Dolly E for image generation, Zapier. You're able to also have a browser scrapper, which is something that is really useful for people who are trying to scrap various different types of information on the internet. Now, if you go down, it showcases all the tutorials on the documentation for all of these different types of things that you can do. You're also able to automate the moderation, track the usage of tokens, and manage your database within all of this, uh, within, sorry, like the Libre chat platform. So definitely take a look at all of these different things. But that basically concludes today's video on Libre chat. This is definitely an amazing way for you to basically access everything in an all-in-one platform and framework. This is something that is very useful and it's something that you should definitely try out if you guys haven't already. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to work on any other types of applications, definitely send it through in the comment section below. But that's basically it. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you guys haven't already. Follow World of AI on Twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos on this channel because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.